as the right to arms passes in the male line, it, although Catherine Middleton herself could have petitioned for a grant of arms, it seemed appropriate that the grant should be made to her father because then it benefits all his children and I think they feel themselves as a strong family unit. So it seemed more appropriate, I think, that he should be granted the arms and it should signify the whole family rather than separating Catherine Middleton from her brother and sister and parents by granting the arms just to her. Well, I met her parents here and we discussed the design of the arms and they then went away and we subsequently exchanged emails on the subject, but I understand that her particular, that Catherine Middleton's particular input was the Sprigs of Oak. So I think that she was very involved in the decision and really suggested the fundamental part of the design. And of course, as the Middletons have three children, the design shows what is known as a chevron, which is an inverted V shape, uh, between three of these oak sprigs, so that can relate to the three children. And the sh chevron is gold, and Carol Middleton's maiden name was Goldsmith. And so this is a reference to her and her central part in the family. And then to lighten the design slightly, there are two thinner white chevrons either side of the main gold chevron. And this helps make the design distinct from other coats of arms. The shield is divided vertically at the back and half of it is blue and half red. And when you're des designing arms, it was obviously worth considering the fact that once Catherine Middleton is married, there will be a marital coat of arms showing the arms of the husband and wife of Prince William and Catherine Middleton. And so then the shield will be divided vertically and the basic colours in the royal arms are gold and blue and red. It is an option. There is no need to have a coat of arms to marry into the royal family. It would not in any way invalidate a marriage if somebody did not have a coat of arms. But obviously heraldry is so central to certain parts of life in the British Isles that it would be rather a bald appearance of a coat of arms with a blank for the wife's arms. So I think it is a much happier solution to have a coat of arms. As far as I'm aware, she was pleased in that I've not heard that uh, she was in any way unhappy with it. So I, yes, I hope she was pleased.